Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Lexa Taro and thank you so much for stopping by. For those of you who have subscribed to my channel, I greatly appreciate your support and thank you for letting others know about this channel. And for those of you that are stopping by for the first time, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. And let's take a look here at what we're going to be focusing on today. We're going to be focusing on the air signs. So Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this is for you. Now, if you have either or any of those signs, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, as your sun, moon, rising, or in Venus in your birth chart, um, then this reading is for you. And the second thing is if you are in a long distance separation or if you are in a connection and separation, then again, welcome. So what I'm going to be focusing on today is the overall energy of your long distance connection in this year, 2020. And we're also going to look at the incoming energy in the first month of the new year. So we're going to take a look at the overall energy in your long distance connection for 2020, focusing on your significant other, which I will be using this deck for their energy. And we're going to take a look also at what obstacles um, your significant other has learned in 2020 and what has been their emotional growth in this long distance connection in 2020. Those same three Questions are the same ones that I will be focusing on for you, air signs. Okay, so I'm going to be using this deck for you guys. And again, it's going to be the same three questions. What has been the overall connection in your, in your long distance connection this 2020? What obstacle have you learned from um, in regards to this connection in 2020 and what has been your emotional growth in this long distance connection in 2020 down the middle we're going to focus on the new energy the overall energy entering the first month of the new year and that's going to be right here as well as the obstacle that you guys need to really focus on on how to overcome in the first month of the new year and what will be your feelings and thoughts, what feelings and thoughts will be seen or felt within the first month of your 2021 new year. So as I've said in other um, videos that I talk about time, time is relative in time, the way we see it as uh, human beings and as individuals, the concept of time is something that we've created as humans. Um, and the way we see time and the way time is, I guess, in quantum physics and in the universe is very different. So although I am saying that I am focusing on the energy within the first month of the new year, 2021, for some of you that may uh, speed up or that may, or you may see this energy a lot sooner. For others of you, it will take some time for things to you know, to, to come into fruition in a way. If you guys are interested uh, to hear thoughts on this, um, uh, I just met someone uh, through the YouTube family and her, uh, you know, uh, channel is called Sage Insight. So you guys have to go over there and take a look. She has a great video called It's About Time and when she talks about time, um, and you know, our perception of that. Okay. And I, and I feel that <clears throat> it kind of aligns very, uh, very much with what we're doing here today. So without further ado, let's hop into it. Now I'm going to shuffle and put all these cards within their respective column that may take some time. Please feel free to fast forward. Take a look down below where you will find that time stamp that you could just go there automatically and it will take you straight into the reading. I always like to shuffle live so that you guys can see. I do not pull out my cards. Um, I don't know what's coming out and I will see them along with you. So this keeps it very transparent. Um, so let's begin. All right, so let's take a look here. 
Let's start with air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius significant other. What has been the overall connection in the significant other's long distance connection in this 2020? Significant other for the air signs, their overall energy. Okay, let's focus on air signs, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What is their overall energy for 2020? What has been their overall energy in 2020? Overall energy for air signs. Now, what is the mutual mutual new energy for the first month of the new year 2021 what is the mutual energy between the air signs and their significant other in 2021 okay uh, let's go to obstacles what was the obstacle? What obstacle has air sign significant other learned in 2020? What obstacle has the significant other for the air signs learned in 2020? Wow, these came out of nowhere. These dropped automatically, so I'll take those. And let's take um, let's take a look for the air signs what has been the obstacle they have learned in this long distance connection for 2020 what is the obstacle the air signs have learned in this long distance connection in 2020 What is their mutual obstacle that they need to keep an eye out for or focus to overcome in the first month of the new year? What obstacle do they need to overcome as a couple in the first in the first month of the new year 2021? Okay, that came out by itself. I'll take that. And let's take a look at what has been the significant other's emotional growth in this long distance connection in 2020. What has the air sign significant other, what has been their emotional growth in this long distance connection in 2020? Oh, actually, let me, yeah, they're telling me to go under. I don't know, I'm going with twos here with you guys. Okay, what is um, the emotional growth in this long distance connection for the air signs? And what is the emotional growth that, or what is the feeling and the thoughts that will be seen or felt within the first month of this new year? Mutually in this connection, air signs and their significant other. a look at the significant other what has been the significant other's emotional growth in this long distance connection with the air sign so what has been the emotional growth here in this connection 
for the significant other and the air sign. What has been their emotional growth in 2020? Oh. I'm telling you, I'm happy that I'm taping this as this is happening because literally it jumped off. Okay, and let's find out what the energy is here for the air sign. What has the air sign, Gemini's, Libra, and Aquarius, what have they learned in this emotional growth? In this long distance connection for 2020 what has been their emotional growth in this long distance connection for 2020 two three and the hidden energy okay where do i put this okay let's put it over here and let's take a look at what are the feelings and the thoughts that will be seen or felt within the first month of the new year what is the mutual energy what is that will be seen or felt within the first month between the air sign and their significant other in this new 2020 2021 uh, year, new year. Okay. Hi guys, thank you so much for fast forwarding to uh, fast forwarding to this part where we're going to begin the reading so if some of you want to check out how i was shuffling please do so before these two cards came out automatically now i i have i will honestly tell you that i have been only pulling out one card for the obstacle but uh for this of course it always happens with my air signs that two uh, just automatically fell out so I didn't pull anything on my own these just came out so I took them so as I said before this is your significant others energy for 2020 this is your uh, uh, energy for the air signs a Gemini Libra and Aquarius and in the middle is the 2021 energy for the first month of the new year so let's jump into this let's take a look what has been the overall energy for your significant other in this uh, long distance connection in 2020 well uh, your significant other got serendipity and yang okay so serendipity and the yang energy and so this tells me that the energy that I'm picking up here is that there were in, in a way like divine forces or kind of like um, very interesting coincidences or serendipitous events surrounding some things or surrounding events or situations that happened in 2020 um, They that may have proven to be a catalyst of helping to move things forward um, for your significant other in this long distance connection so it may have been maybe how you guys met or how um, it you know just very interesting what I call coincidence and in, in, in you know in quotations because there's no such things as coincidences everything happens for a reason so it, it's pretty much uh, showing me here through the energy that there were in a way it felt that there were moments where it was divine timing where it was like a, a stroke of luck or things that came out of nowhere where you thought that it that where your significant other thought that it wasn't possible um it it became possible um in 2020 um you know i don't know what that may be but you know that is the energy that i'm getting here 
I'm also getting here as their energy that they're that they overcame or the challenges um, that they learned in 2020 was bringing into alignment their sense of spiritual and emotional connection this bond with you during uh, moments in 2020 um, I feel that and here you guys get uh, I'm sorry your significant other gets sacred mother earth and a jewel within a, a teardrop and I feel that this obstacle of kind of or this challenge of um, being able to develop a strong bond with you um, really gave them an opportunity to, in a way, open their hearts to um, maybe something they weren't even expecting. Um, I feel this energy here for seren serendipity. Um, th this, this love that just opened up or this energy of feeling connected um, in the heart chakra with you um, was an obstacle that they overcame in 2020 that may have uh, created a deeper bond in this long distance connection. I see here that they have attraction and express your love. Again, that's what I was feeling here with this sacred mother earth, that this feeling of opening the heart chakra and really being able to connect with you was a challenge or was an obstacle that they were able to overcome or that they grew deeper within you there's they were um uh, with you um they were able to express love in a way more freely um because of this challenge that they were able to either learn from or overcome in 2020 and so that opening up of the heart of expression of emotion of being transparent of perhaps how they were feeling gave way to them being able to express their love to you and um feeling even more of a sense of attraction and chemistry and romance and uh, a more of a connection that perhaps um gave the power or the power of action to really move things forward emotionally for them with you in 2020. Let's take a look at their um, overall emotional growth um, in 2020. Their emotional growth here, I see... Um, they have the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Devil card. And so here we have um, the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Swords, King of Swords, and the Devil card. Okay? And so here I'm feeling that their emotional growth, they were able to see a deep value in this connection in this long distance connection with you they were able to in a way seize the opportunity to invest emotionally in this connection with you in 2020 they were able to slowly um move forward uh, emotionally and they were also able to move their thoughts, release their thoughts from the past, release those emotional baggages, and be able to open their hearts to be able to express love to you. To be more, I feel in a way, emotional, more uh, of an emotional connection. I feel that they were able to release with this devil card, they were able to uh, release these impulses 
of maybe thinking negatively or having self-sabotaging thoughts that in a way were, were holding them back in regards to being able to show or, or express their love to you or their deep connection with you. I feel here with the King of Swords that they were very much in, in, in their thoughts. I, you know, for some of you, maybe your significant other was able to express um, and be very communicative on their thoughts. Um, and I feel that for others of you, your significant other um, may have been more of um, showing this type of logic um, and kind of putting aside their emotions in order to kind of be able to um, pull away from this devil energy. And I feel that that's the emotional growth that they were able to overcome. They were able to overcome this King of Swords. They were able to grow from this King of Swords and from feeling these um, self-sabotaging thoughts, emotions, or even actions that they were in a way chained to these past impulses. And they were really able to move away from that. And move forward into this um, Ace of Pentacles energy. This energy of feeling that this uh, long distance connection is worth investing. Is worth uh, um, really taking the leap forward and opening the heart. And really being able to uh, create this bond with you. I feel that a lot of... of of it had to do with divine timing or, or, or divine events or coincidences that, that you know, and again, I, go, I do this because I, I don't really believe that there are such things as coincidences. There's a, there's a rhyme and reason for everything. We might not understand it at that moment. And that may have been the case here with your significant other. They may not have understood at the moment why certain things happened, but I feel that these serendipitous events really propelled in motion um, for certain things to move forward, such as, you know, a, a deeper connection with you, opening their hearts, being able to express their love, moving away from um, these feelings that no longer serve them, these thoughts that were reoccurring in the mind, being able to let go of this King of Swords energy, of being very logical, because logic doesn't, it, you know, emotions don't come from logic, right? Logic comes from the from the mind. And uh, love and emotions comes from the heart. So I feel that they, they, they were able to overcome this situation of maybe self-sabotaging thoughts, self-sabotaging ideas, maybe self-limiting actions that perhaps were in a way um, not allowing them to fully be open for this um, passion to, to come through. So that's what I'm getting here with their energy and their emotional growth for 2020. Let's take a look at your energy. What was your overall energy in this 2020 time period? You guys have truth be told and higher power. Truth be told, and higher power. And I feel here for 2020, for you guys, um, for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, that I feel that you were able to connect with your higher self. I don't know if you guys could see that there, but there's this, um, uh, the third eye, uh, um, so the third eye chakra, the Ajna, it opening up and illuminating. And I feel that this sense of connecting either to a higher power or you yourselves, a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, being able to tune in um, to your uh, spiritual side or your intuition allowed you to be able to open yourselves up and really share what your heart um, really uh the emotions that you have, uh, 
or that developed or that deepened here in 2020 for you in this long distance connection. And very interesting, I see here hearts because I see the, the, the owl here opening its chest where, you know, we know that that's where the heart is, right? The heart chakra and really opening themselves up. And I see this happening um, in both your energy and your significant other's energy. For you, it's coming as an overall energy. And for your significant other, it's coming up as a uh, obstacle that they were able to overcome. Here, your obstacles are uh, winter's end, okay, and loss. So I feel here that in 2020, you were able to That you were able to kind of see or or at least try to see um, a positive the positivity in the loss and the grief that perhaps you experienced in 2020. I feel that I mean we see that she has a tear and she's really looking towards uh, towards the towards my left. So I feel that the, that you were um, thinking or that thoughts resurrected. It, they, they, they just came up to the surface of grief, of loss, of sadness. It might have been connected to this long distance connection because you guys are in separation. But it could also be I'm getting uh, travel here. I'm getting that perhaps because you were unable to travel to see your significant other or create um, or be able to have the opportunity to see them or to uh, travel to them, then it was it, it was quite difficult. And of course, that you know that again, it might sound. Um, cliche like oh my gosh like yeah it, it that's what happened to a lot of people in 2020 right um, to all of us but um, even myself I'm in a long distance uh, connection as well so um, but I feel that you guys were able to um, push yourselves you know forward and um, really get a sense of, of rebirth and regeneration and, and kind of transform uh, yourselves in in that way um, through this situation I feel that um, here you have keep an open mind so I feel that this experience here this loss this grief this sadness um, this um, situation or this feeling of energy of the winter uh, you know, the winter is, you know, the leaves fall, it's cold, the, you know, it's dark outside, you know, the sun sets a lot uh, quicker, um, there's more darkness, that you guys were able to overcome that, and you were able to keep an open mind through this experience here. And I'm getting here... Um, such a contrast because up here we get you know the this light and this nice light airiness and here in the obstacles or the obstacles that you overcame a lot of dark a lot of uh looking into the past um looking to the left looking into the past um and um a lot of emotions there um and i feel that you had to uh, really try to keep an open mind and try to see things in a different way. There may have been here in 2020 an opportunity for you guys to have um, experienced this love distance or this uh, distant this connection and separation. It may not have been your usual type of connection, um, but it's something that you really felt connected to. Um, with your significant other so in other words your soulmate you feel that this significant other 
has such an attraction and such a connection with your significant other and maybe some of you um in 2020 might or before 2020 might have said i would never uh place myself in a situation where i'm in a long distance connection um and so obviously because of a lot of things that happened and uh in 2020 it may have placed you in this position where yeah you are now in a situation where you are in a long distance relationship and and um, you really had to keep an open mind and so then that in a way was your emotional growth i see here as an emotional growth for 2020 for you the queen of uh swords the four of fire which is the four of um wands and the ten of wands or the ten of fire in this deck i also see very interesting both of you you and your significant other both have the six of in this deck is the six of air but in rider way it's the six of swords both of you have the six of swords energy so what i'm getting here is that your emotional growth oh my gosh wait a minute stop wait a minute <laughs> you uh you have the queen of swords and your significant other has the king of swords so talk about uh divine counterparts here um they are in the in the same suits um granted it is the sword so it could tell me that here in this connection you were equally in your uh in your thoughts um about this connection about this long distance connection um so much so that i think you were thinking a lot about the past as well uh you were trying to probably clear your mind and trying to um in a way uh get a sense of you know transformation um even in your thoughts like you were thinking about things and you were trying to figure out how to make things better how to transform things how to communicate um the challenges that you were feeling and you were facing trying to keep an open mind and sure enough the swords um does talk about thoughts um and ideas and of course we're talking about air signs so um we do see swords here a lot and i do see here um that you were able to release okay this emotional growth where you were also able to release some uh of some ideas from the past okay that really helped you kind of see and form your ideas around uh having a more stabilized commitment here i feel that your personal growth here in 2020 was to try to get over this emotional burden or the stress of being away from each other and i think this was very difficult for both of you um it was very difficult for you as well because as we see here we see the sense of loss grief and sadness so i feel that this was your um emotional growth here in this long distance connection you're able to start seeing things clearly, maybe even communicate how you felt, opening your heart to your significant other, really relying on your intuition and your spiritual strength in order to help you and guide you to be able to be a little bit more transparent and to really solidify or try your best in solidifying a relationship or making it stronger. I think that even some of you... Um, with the, your emotional growth in 2020 even started thinking about you know how it would be as a married couple or how to have strengthened this relationship during your time apart because again we do see the six of uh swords and the six of swords does talk about travel so both of you um, may have had that situation where it was uh, a a bit challenging to continue this um long distance connection with the obstacles of uh being unable to see each other uh and travel towards each other so let's take a look here at the energy for 2021 and again this is the energy that i'm picking up as maybe the first month or two within the new year and this is the mutual connection and so what i'm seeing here as the overall 
uh, energy for this uh, first month of the new year is that I see exchanging of gifts and um, observe. Okay, observer. And what I'm getting here is that I, I'm quickly feeling that you guys are in, in the first month of this new year. There's, there's uh, I mean, I could, obviously we're getting out of uh, uh, the holidays, right? So the, there may be this exchanging of gifts towards each other. But I think it, it really goes a little deeper than just exchanging uh, tangible gifts. I think it's also ex the exchange of um, ideas, the exchange of a mutual energy, just making sure that both of you give equally to this connection, that it's not, it doesn't become one-sided, that it's not just one person always reaching out or texting or sending emails or making sure that the connection stays alive, but that it will require both of you to really uh, make the effort towards each other in order to express that love towards each other. And continue to do so in 2021. I see here observer and I feel that again you're going to continue to uh, you know see each other as far as you know checking in on each other making sure everything's fine. Um, I feel that there is still going to be a distance here between the both of you. Um, long distance connection. Um, here as the obstacle for your 2020 um, in the first month of the new year is going to be um, trying to not get in your head. So both of you um, need to, to make sure that you don't fall into, and you guys have liberation, by the way, that you guys don't fall mutually as a couple into um, this energy of, that your significant other came up uh, has in on their side but this energy of um negative attachments negative ideas or self-sabotaging thoughts and um i see here that this uh, may be the uh energy as far as the obstacle or challenge during the first month of the new year that you guys are going to have to try to break free from any negative ideas or thoughts that may um you know just be reoccurring in your minds okay or this codependent behavior of uh, attaching yourself to maybe self-limiting thoughts ideas or actions um that could end up um kind of disrupting this equal give and take energy of uh, the card of uh, exchanging gifts. I feel that, um, wow, so you guys have past life connection and relationship here, so that's beautiful. So again, you guys um, in 2021 will continue to feel a, a deepening a bond or a deepening uh, situation here of emotions. Again, I did, like I mentioned earlier, I felt that, uh, that you, uh, Air Signs, you do have the Four of Wands, and that does talk about solidifying and stabilizing uh, commitment, okay? And for some of you, it may mean marriage. For some of you, it might be getting engaged. For some of you, it may be just strengthening that union between the both of you. And here in your... Um, significant other side we see expression of love so there's definitely this and of course we see the uh, message of love as well as the obstacle that they overcame or the challenge they overcame um in this long distance connection in 2020 so there's definitely this uh strong bond between the both of you here let's take a look at what you may be feeling uh, together as a couple and what the thoughts may be here within the first month of the new year and so you have the two of wands another travel card you have the eight of pentacles and you have the two of pentacles with the last card being the six of wands so i i get here that the energy for the first uh, month of the new year, 2021, is that there, there's still a sense of waiting 
of waiting um this this you know like you're in the waiting room right like you're just waiting for uh things to happen you may be planning you may be planning a trip okay both of you got traveling cards um in 2020 um i do see another traveling card here talks about having to go back and forth um, that may be the situation here. Some of you may still be waiting to travel. Some of you may be traveling uh, to, you know, together, uh, to not together, but, you know, back and forth to, to see each other or to try to uh, create a connection or maintain that connection. And I see here the Eight of Pentacles. And so with this, I feel the energy of, um, you know, both of you really working hard. Okay, and being very busy. Okay, so there is this busyness and there's this working hard. While some of you are still waiting, you are still investing in this connection mutually, and you guys are going to, you know, uh, fluctuate between either jobs or fluctuate between what you have the feelings in your heart versus what you have in your mind. Okay, so this dual energy, I feel here. But all in all, there is going to be the sense of feeling that you were able to overcome these challenges and feel that there, that there is a success at the end of the road here or at least uh, within this first uh, month or two in the new year. So this this uh investing into this relationship this busyness of perhaps just keeping busy um will result into a success or a successful outcome within your connection so these are the energies that i was able to pick up here in your uh long distance connection i hope that you have um enjoy the insights that i have shared with you thank you so much i hope that you continue to watch my channel give it a thumbs up if you like subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned next week for a different topic thank you so much and have a good day Bye bye